And we are live. What is up? What is up? Like I said, what is up? This is the moment that we've been we've been wanting to hear for a very long time. Like this announcement should have been made a year ago. And Nintendo finally, they finally gave us something. So tomorrow in the morning, they going to reveal the console. Y'all been wanting to see this for a very long time. So we're going to talk about it. And oh, yeah, I forgot to say this. Uh, everybody, welcome to the newest episode of Emergency, Emergency Podcast. Podcast. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. So, man, we gotta just talk about it, dig deep into this, this, uh, this matter, and go get our thoughts and opinions, and and trying to see exactly um, what we are in for for tomorrow morning. What we think, what games they're going to uh, provide us? Do you think it's going like with all these rumors that have been circulating, um, you know, around around the internet these past few months? Do, like, we gotta actually see which one of these rumors might be true. So let's go ahead and get our introductions out the way so we go ahead and dig deep into this. Let's go and start with you, Alex. Woo! Let's go! I can sit here. The day is here. Finally, Nintendo opened their mouths, and we finally will see the NX tomorrow. We're getting a glorious trailer, people. The Wii U is behind us. Throw it in the garbage. Pretend it never happened. We're finally going to get the console we wanted for the last several years. Let's go! Woo! <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go with you, Retro, bro. Nintendo has news for us? As Mojo Jojo would say, this can't be. This I can't am be. outraged. <laughs> like, I am so hyped. Like, this is something we should have got a long time ago, considering they were the first console to tell us they were having a new console. <laughs> so, oh my pretty God. excited about this. Let's hear what we get tomorrow. I mean, a lot of us will be at work and school, but we'll get the news afterwards, and hopefully it turns out well. Woo! <laughs> All right, last but not least, it's going to go to Sinister Tar here. What up, y'all? Sinister here. It's finally Nintendo. What is up? <laughs> Woo! Oh, <God. laughs> Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and start. Okay, let's talk about what is our speculations of the NX, man. I'm thinking with all these rumors that have been, uh, been circulating these past few weeks or few months, um, I know Book, he came out and he gave us a description of what this thing could be according to his sources, but he kind of basically uh, you know, swept it under the rug because found out that those was not true. But um, I'm I'm thinking that this is uh, going to be a hybrid. I think it's been confirmed that this is going to be a hybrid. Um, I believe that the uh, that the screen supposed to be a 720p. Is it 720 or 900p screen? I'm, I think I forgot, but it's, it's not bad at all. Um, take your games on the go. You know that's that's one thing. That's one thing that could be in Nintendo's advantage. Like uh, for instance, if they get like third party uh, support. Like get like an Assassin's Creed game or a Madden game. You know, there's a whole bunch of people that love sports games, man. So if they can take those games to go, you know, play it in 720p on their handhelds. I think that's that's uh that's pretty that's pretty cool. But I really hope that this is a uh, hybrid, like they've been saying. If I could take it on the go, then maybe, I mean maybe I might give third parties a chance on the Nintendo console just because of that that feature that the xbox one and the playstation 4 does not offer so this might be one of the main reasons why they were so secretive about this because they don't want nobody copying not their ideas but if it's just a regular home console and you know I, like they, they really gotta wow me for me to support uh multiplex because my multiplex could go it's gonna be strictly my xbox one or maybe my playstation 4 but like i say this nx if it's a, a hell of a system you know, maybe I might give give them a a, a shot as, as far as third party games, but as far as Nintendo games, that's that's what we that's what we really want. Uh, they they better not take the same approach that they did with the Wii U. Um, whenever they launched the system, because they was really 
uh, just basically relying on third parties around that time, and they did not lunch with a heavy hitter game. Yes, we had New Super Mario Brothers U, but it was a port from the Wii, and it was really wasn't new, to be honest. So a lot of people have uh, been wanting for a new, new, uh, you know, 3D Mario game, which you know, which we did not get last generation. 3D World doesn't count. And been rumors um, around the internet these past few days that the NS is going to launch with a brand new Mario game. And, of course, Zelda is going to be on there as well, too. So if that is true, then I'm happy, man. So I guess um, let's go Let's go ahead and um, talk about what do we think what this NX is going to be. Let's uh let's start with somebody uh somebody else. Um, I always go with you, Alex. First, let's let's start with you, Retro, bro. What do you think? What's your speculations about it? Well, from some of the rumored designs that we saw in the past, I'm still gearing towards more of a tablet hybrid type thing. So I'm thinking that it'll be more of a mobile device looking type device that'll actually be able to hook to the TV and that you can take what you want to go. And I do think that. With all the games that will be on the console, you'll have mini game versions, kind of like the Dreamcast VMU of those games, and they'll contribute somehow to your main story. So you should get like little rewards and stuff. So I don't think you'll get the full game if you take it on the go, but just yeah. some a little something on the side that helps contribute to the game. Hmm. So you don't think it's going to be a full game on the go? Mm -mm. I don't think so either. Not from well, let me say not for most games. I'm pretty sure Pokemon you can do in both scenarios, just because it's very little depth to what you can what you have to do with it. But for a lot of the bigger games, I don't think that will be the case. So you basically think it's gonna be like a like a, a mobile mobile like type a cut experience. version of the game. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, is that all you got on that? Yeah. All right, let's go with you, Simpson Tar here. What, what, what you, what you think? What's your uh, speculation? What's, what's your opinion of what they're gonna announce tomorrow? What you think is gonna be? I mean, I say probably like a hybrid. You know, probably some games they'll take advantage. You know, take it on the go, and probably, probably some you can just you know set at home or wherever you want to play it at. I mean, that kind of thing is. Uh, I'm just interested in how the you know what the quality of the games are going to look like and, and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm sure, you know, see it tomorrow, you know, you know, we can judge for ourselves and stuff like that. But, uh, but pretty much uh retro, we already covered, you know, everything else. Okay. Uh, what about you, Alex? Uh, well, first let's, uh, let's go over some of the little details we got here. So uh, if you go to Nintendo's website right now on the homepage, it says, watch the preview trailer for Nintendo's next home gaming system. Oh, at 7 a.m. PT, uh, my time, I suppose. Uh, so they, they specifically say this thing is a home gaming system, which means, at least to me, that the emphasis is a home console. It will probably still be a hybrid, but that's probably like the special gimmick, the, the thing that makes you want to buy the NX. But the hopefully what this means is the main focus of the device is a home console still. So that's really exciting. And apparently the uh, the presentation tomorrow will be three minutes long which is a little concerning how short it is but uh at this point i'm just excited to see it i'm happy nintendo is finally talking about it because the silence has been uh, ridiculous so three minutes oh i just really hope there's no stupid skits tomorrow is, is wasting time confirmed to be three minutes uh yeah i've seen that in a couple places three minutes seems to be the uh, the time frame for it so it's just that a preview it's not me. it's not the full reveal it's a preview reveal a preview reveal yeah, which oh, is still no. better than nothing, but like, uh, I'm still it's very better excited. than that. I, I, I think they it has show it, to do with it. That's what I think. It might have something to do with those with the investor meeting that they got. That they, uh, yeah, it's, it's most likely something to do with that, but it's just exciting that we're they're finally at least yeah. ready to talk about this uh, thing. Yeah, I feel that they are being forced to do it. They, I don't honestly, I don't think they would, I don't think they're ready to reveal it, but you know, as, as far as um, the internet, you know, everybody, um, uh, this, this, uh, gaming industry, the fans. Everybody's so everyone's rest. excited right now. The only people who well, are not excited not, right yeah. now are Rockstar because Rockstar is showing Red Dead Redemption 2 tomorrow, and that is going to yeah, get swept that, under the rug because right, tomorrow is all about the NX. <laughs> they, wrong, they wrong with that. They, 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 they wrong because they, they know everybody that's been very excited for Red Dead Redemption 2. And since every you know, since, more people are excited for the NX, too bad. Yeah, more people is excited for the NX because it's a brand new console. You know, people yeah. are going to choose a console over one game. You know? <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, it's just how it is. But as, uh, as far as what the NX is, I'm more in line with what Retro's thinking, like home console, and then you can kind of take a cut-down version of it on the go, similar to what Boogie was saying. There's nothing wrong with that. Like I say, no, they, no, there's nothing wrong with it. That's actually a really cool concept. Like, yes, if let's say, for instance, you take Zelda, you play it at home, and then you take the cut down version on the go, maybe it's like, um, remember that bow and arrow game that they had on the Wii for, uh, I forgot what it's called, some yeah, Link's Link bow and arrow. Yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, something like, maybe it's a Link mini game in that, and if you score high enough points, maybe you get rupees or an extra heart or some shit. Something like that would be really cool. Or even if you yeah. could do, just do those boring. Puzzle dungeon parts. Yeah, globally, that would be cool too. You know, it'd be cool. Uh, achievement system. Yeah, that would be really cool. Well, yeah, like we were talking about this the other day. They they need to have the creature comforts that we're used to at this point. Achievements, streaming, any any sort of stuff we're used to on the Xbox and the and the PS4. Like these are the things Nintendo needs to consider. Maybe yeah. not so much like uh, Blu-ray players and whatever. That's kind of that's not totally necessary, but. I think game streaming and having being able to record your games, that's really important to a lot of people right now. So I, I, hopefully they yeah, have that, that kind of stuff. Actually been, uh, that's actually been the rumor as well, too, uh, having the share button. And, you know, I, I hope yeah, that you know, we'll pick up. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, I, 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 just, I just, just hope they too. keep this console gamer-centric this time around. Yeah, yeah and, and whenever the NX comes out, they need to be more linear on their, their policies, man. You know, especially when it comes to... That, you know, that's YouTube. a whole other issue, but uh, <laughs> we'll yeah, see that, how that's, that's handled. So, uh, I guess everybody um, got their thoughts and opinions. Okay, let's talk about this. Uh, what do Nintendo needs to do in order for them not to have another Wii U situation? I mean, fix the uh, servers. I mean, it's more likely. Well, just okay, as long so, as they I'm have sorry. the games, as long as they got enough games this time around, I think we'll be in good shape. Yeah. Uh, let's let's start with you, Sensatari. What do you think Nintendo needs to do overall to improve everything to get gain everybody's trust back and and so they can hang with the big dogs again with Microsoft and Sony? Well, see, trying to get that you know those relationships with the third parties again, like you know, not just Ubisoft and EA, but you know, trying to get more you know, you know, have them you know believe in them again. Uh, part like I said, uh, like I mentioned earlier, you know, fix their servers for online gaming and stuff like that, like. Hope you get like voice chat and, or stuff like that. I mean, that's just like a few things I want to, you know, they need to fix. Then, of course, overcome the other mistakes, like, you know, what they did on the Wii U and stuff like that. Especially, you know, with the control and then, you know, not have that big, you know, game pad, and, you know, that was required for like almost all, most of their games and stuff like that. But, you know, just do the opposite, you know, what they did on the Wii U. <laughs> Yeah, just yeah, fulfill, fulfill the promises of the Wii U. That's all you need to do. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay, that's all you got on that? Yep, that's it. All right, what, what about you, uh, What about you, Retro? Me, I would like to see a little bit more stability with the console. And what I mean by stability is I'd like to see better servers so when you play games like Smash and stuff, you can actually enjoy Poor Glory mode without it lagging up so much. I would like to see that the mobile that not only the mobile games be good like they always are in the 3ds but some more of the solid games that are more graphic intensive that's supposed to be on the console will be a lot better and there'll be a lot more of those too because i was personally dissatisfied with a lot of the games on wii u and i try i tried a lot of them when i got it and i really didn't like too many of them like the only ones i thoroughly enjoyed was smash bros and bayonetta so i would like to see more solid titles on the console side of the house too. And then the other thing I want is I want better functionality with the controls because I hated the fact with the Wii U again, that you had to use the Wii U game pad. And even if you had a controller, it would default to the game pad until it ran out of power. Like when you turned the system on, it was the first thing. So I hope they don't have anything like that. That forces your hands with the controls. Yeah, no, I get what you're saying. Like, they, it was great that they made a pro controller, but they didn't really uh, utilize it properly where you can use it as your main controller whenever you wanted. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that's not an issue this time around. Well, that was one of their, their uh, main mistakes because, you know, the pro controller is a lot cheaper than that game pad. And that's, pro controller is a great controller. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, it is a great controller. It's really comfortable. Yeah, comfortable. You know, that's great what, battery. Very responsive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what, I would like what to the use it in other games. Like, with that with game pad, man, and that, that really sucked, man. Like, like, Star Fox wouldn't have made me angry if I could have just used that controller alone. Right. 
Yeah, that is true. All right, so that's all you got on that? Mm hmm. All right, what about you, Alex? Yeah, uh, what, what was the question again? <laughs> what Nintendo needs to do to improve everything? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, um, the, the first thing, obviously, is games. Uh, I think. I think they're going to be okay this time since they merged the divisions. So we're going to have the handheld division and the home console division merged together, making the same games. So I think that output isn't going to be a problem this time. So we'll get more first party titles, which uh, like, let's be real here. Uh, that's what you buy a Nintendo console for now. It didn't used to be like that. Like NES and SNES, you could get everything there, but as a Nintendo console is now, it's mainly just for Nintendo titles. So as long as they can pump out enough of those, I think they'll be a lot better off this time. I think the hybrid idea, if that turns out to be true, is cool. As long as... I don't think having a full-on game on the go makes sense. Because that would mean they would have to make the home console game more mobile-oriented, which I, I wouldn't want. Uh, so hopefully it's cut-down versions of the game. That would be great. Uh, I, I have a list of specs that uh, Bearhugger sent me. Uh, I guess we can kind of go over it if you guys want to talk about the specs. Sp supposed specs are not... Obviously, not for real until Nintendo says so. But um, the home unit is a NVIDIA Tegra X2 based system with 6 gigabytes of RAM. It's a 720p slash 1080p device. So, uh, and, and there was some other rumors saying Nintendo wants to focus on 1080p 60fps gaming, which is awesome. They don't seem to have an interest in pushing 4K when the technology isn't even there yet. So, that's exciting. Hopefully, that is true. And then for the portable device, it's uh, also NVIDIA. It has 4 gigs of RAM, and it is a 720p screen, uh, which for that size should be fine. Uh, it says it has a camera. That's cool, I guess, and accelerometer and gyroscope. So hardware is pretty good. It's in between uh, Wii U and Xbox and PS4, so that's not bad. Uh, and, yeah, it's a pre pretty exciting time right now. I hope they can get it right because we do need Nintendo in this uh, industry. Because yes, when you look do. at uh, when you look at Sony and Microsoft, a lot of what they do is the same, and now they're essentially turning their consoles into like shitty versions of PCs. So it's it takes Nintendo to really show them how to make a true gaming console, and hopefully they get it right this time. Because whether you like it or not, like Nintendo's the only one that pushes boundaries. Yeah, That's that true. is true. That is true. You know, Nintendo they don't never fall. They 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 lead and everybody follows. But when the you know, people that follows, they they turn their ideas, you know, to a great idea and make yeah. Nintendo look stupid. That's just they try something, at least. <laughs> yeah, at least they try. They try to be innovative, you know. But you know, I guess uh, my, my I guess my thoughts about out, but, uh, hopefully yeah. next does work out. The, the, I'm very excited for it. The Wii U, I'm not gonna. The Wii was a good system, you know. I'm not gonna lie. It was a good system, had a good concept, but not enough people jump aboard the system, uh, not enough third-party support, and, you know, um, not enough Nintendo fans giving third parties a shot, in which killed off a lot of third-party support, in in which it, it turned uh, the Wii U into a disaster, because, you know, you can't expect Nintendo to, to uh, spit out a game every month or every other week, because it's not that possible. It's, it's, it's not possible. You know, it's, it's a lot of work that they got to do in order to give us that many games. That's why third party is very key and it's very important, man. And mm -hmm. and, and w w without the support, like, like you never had no console very long. Just Nintendo, they, I'm, I'm pretty sure they learned their lesson from this, this Wii U. I'm pretty sure they did. So I'm, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that that this and next would be the, um, the complete opposite of what the Wii U was, you know, uh, whenever it launched, we get big name titles, heavy hitters, and third party support. You know, not just not just a little mid tier Nintendo game and some third party game. No, no, we can't we can't do that again. So you know, <laughs> you know, because y'all saw how, how that that turned out. And you know, of course, um, marketing you got to advertise the shit, man. I don't know how many times that I said that. I don't know how many times everybody else has said this shit. If the general public doesn't know anything about this this system, then it's not going to sell well. That's that's why that's why casuals, you know, are key. They are very key because the general public there are the casuals. They don't want they they don't go on these websites and do YouTube videos every day like we do. We right. know the ins and outs of this, this gaming industry. We know what is going on. You know, the general public, the ones that's that's buying these consoles. That's why they are very important, man. And that's one of the main reasons why the Wii U had failed because they did not know what the hell a Wii U is. They thought it was an extra peripheral for the for the uh, for the original Wii. That's what a lot of people 
was saying. A lot of people was confused. I don't know how many times I went to GameStop countless of times, and a lot of people just got so confused about that about that system. That's and that's on the fault of Nintendo. So Nintendo need to basically come out with games, better communications, you know, with their fans, you know, better better uh, advertising. You know, they need lighting up on their policies. They, you know, especially when it comes to uh, sharing their content on YouTube and Twitch, you know, stop, stop acting that way, man. Because, you know, a lot of these people are advertising their, their products for free because they are fans of their, their product. And Nintendo been, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, they've been acting like jerks this whole entire generation, man. Especially the people that's been making fan-made video games like the, uh, what's that, the Ocarina of Time, they put it in like, Unreal. I think they used the Unreal Engine Four uh, for that game. That game looked beautiful, and they hurry up and took that project down. Man, it's like every time somebody do a fan made project, they take it down. You know, yeah, that, that kind of stuff. It's, it's going to take them a long time to change. But as far as like the console itself goes, that that's all that really matters at the moment. Yeah, yeah, it does matter. But then again, those strict policies, man. Like that's why a lot of people is turned off. It's if like you, it makes more sense for those policies providing the fan main games were made for like monetized value like if they were selling them but they're free yes what i'm saying if you can't get a uh, angry joe or a pewdiepie boogie to advertise your stuff then that's a problem you know, that's a huge problem because they got millions and millions of subscribers that they can help sell the game like that's why that's why uh who said that they're not gonna ever oh that was, i think it was angry joe because Nintendo took down his was it Mario Party video? That's because like that. that dude doesn't fuck with Nintendo. He that nah, he, that clown, he, all the money he makes, he wouldn't even buy a Wii U. That fucker made his subs buy it for him. Yeah, well, you got a big channel. He don't, he don't, he don't buy nothing. Everybody buys it for him. He got he yeah, got he played it like twice and he didn't even use it anymore. It's like that's ridiculous. <laughs> it's in the closet, yeah. nothing dust. Yeah. So, yeah, basically, like I said, just do the complete opposite of what they did this generation. It should be good. You know, I'm not going to lie. Nintendo, they got, you know, some of my favorite games this generation. Yeah. From when we, like, like Ben Netta, man. Ben Netta, Mario Kart 8 was a fucking blast. That was a, that was a Mark 2 favorite. That's we it. have some, like, yeah, other man, rumors that saying amazing. that Beyond Good and Evil 2 is going to be an NX exclusive, possibly coming with the original one. And I heard another one That's that good. Vanquish 2 is going to be an NX exclusive. See, if they can do that, if they could get like these little, these little not triple A game like games like those, you know, you know that's not really a blockbuster. Then I think that would right. be huge, like like how they did with Hyrule Warriors and Bayonetta. You yeah, know, that's that was the thing. Like those were good games. They just needed more of those kind of games. Right. Yeah. Like if they could get the deal with that is if if they can, they don't necessarily gotta get all the multiplats, but. But the multiplats that's really huge is Rockstar games like Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption, in which I yeah, doubt. Nintendo's not gonna get Rockstar. Yeah, that's Nintendo what I'm burned, burned the but they gotta get Assassin's Creed and Call of Duty. Oh, I think Assassin's they will, Creed, like because they, they have a good relationship with Ubisoft, and Ubisoft yeah. seems very excited about the NX. They talk about it nonstop. I hope, I hope, oh, I hope Ubisoft try, you know, give Nintendo fans a, a chance again. To put Raymond another Raymond game on her exclusive this time without changing her mind. Mm. I really hope they. I hope they, they do it. They should because I, I think the Wii U version still sold the best, which is kind of weird. But um, I, I hope they do because Raymond. I got, I got it on the Xbox One, and I enjoyed it a lot more on the Wii U. When I had my it's game. It's better on the Wii U. Yeah, it was way better on the Wii U. You know, because it, it was definitely made for the Wii U. Then it was just ported to the other consoles. Yeah, just like Zombie U, it was made for the Wii U. That's why it was called Zombie U, Wii U, Zombie U. Then they yeah, and that's still, to this, to this day, one of the best utilizations of the gamepad. Yeah. It, it was it a damn launch game. It didn't, I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't know. It was a launch game, but according to uh, Ubisoft, they, did, they didn't even make profit off that game. I, I don't see how they did not, because the game looks cheaply made, to be honest. So we, and, and close had, uh, we had another rumor like regarding the pricing. Apparently, it's going to be three hundred dollars. I know that's your least favorite number when it comes to Nintendo, but apparently, it's three hundred dollars. <laughs> and there's also a four hundred dollar uh, bundle, but they uh, Honestly, haven't specified what's in know, the bundle yet. It's a brand. It's a next generation console. I don't have an issue with that. The only thing that I people might have an issue with is the fact that it costs the same as. You know, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Well, not even that. Yeah. Like, if you get the bundle one, that's the same price as a PS Pro. Which is a problem. 
to most people. Like it, it de- like when we see the bundle, who knows? Maybe it comes with um, a bunch of games. Like we don't really know yet, but like that'd be nice. It, it, it'd be cool, but like if it's just like the console and, and Zelda for four hundred dollars, that's gonna be rough for some people. Yeah, exactly. Well, that would be rough for me. I'll be honest. If that's the yep. case, I hope the bundle has more more stuff. than one game. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. it'd be great if it had like uh, Zelda and Mario. Or... That'd be that'd be tight. I doubt it. They're not going to put two videos on one bundle. Uh, like, apparently, there's also there's going to be four Nintendo launch titles. So I assume, obviously, I think Pikmin 3, I mean, Pikmin 4 was Pikmin one of them. 4. So that would be the. So, yeah, Mario, Zelda, Pikmin 4, most well, likely Smash rumor, Remaster. So the, the rumor said that, you know, it's going to be a. Uh, a uh, Mario title and a Pokemon within six months from each other. Is that what they said? Doing it pretty well, sure. Like Pokemon. Mario's gonna be a launch game, though. It has to be. It has to be a launch game. Hell, Mario is Nintendo, so that, that's probably why Nintendo has uh, been so secretive. And honestly, I think the NX has been pushed back. NX should have launched a while ago. It should have, man. Yeah. Like ideally, I so, personally would want it to be uh, Zelda, Mario, Mario Kart Nine, and uh, I guess Smash because I'm not really a big Pikmin guy. But I, I would have to believe Pikmin Four is going to be there. They, they pretty much said that game's almost done at this point. So honestly, I don't think they're going to have that many heavy hitters because you got to save some for the holiday. You can't have a Zelda, a Mario, a Smash Brothers. They need to, they need to make sure people are. That's a lot of heavy problem, hitters. <laughs> That's a lot. You got to a day. I think uh, Pokemon would be the uh, Pokemon would be the holiday game though. And yeah, Sun and yeah, Moon is coming out soon. Yeah, Sun and Moon is this year, so they would have a different Pokemon game for. Uh, Holiday 2017. Actually, speaking of Sun and Moon, the demo is on the 3DS store right now. Oh, is it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Sure. Plus, uh, think about the next Mario Kart, Mario Kart 9. Even though you know it's popping down the road. Yeah, I don't mind playing Mario Kart 8 again. I just gotta buy it. Yeah, Mario Kart 8 exactly. is a good game. I can't wait for Mario Kart 9. I have to yeah, Mario, 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 Mario Kart 9 shit, that'd be the shit. <laughs> they, stopped, they stopped making DLC for Mario Kart 8, so they must be 9 then. Yeah, they probably put it over for nine. Yeah, <laughs> maybe so. Maybe so. I mean, hey, mm-hmm. if you have somebody new in the mix, you know who? I mean, who never knows? <laughs> yeah. but it's a very, very exciting time right now. We we finally don't have to watch stupid rumor videos every day. Exactly. Uh, Fun. That's that's yeah. the best part about this. We finally don't have to see our feeds of YouTube filled with yeah, clear this whole mess up. Stupid thumbnails of idiots with their faces open halfway. And uh, NX rumors with a bunch of explanation points and a bunch of nonsense and just like feeding people <laughs> lies. As it should be. <laughs> <laughs> and question marks. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm tired of that, man. You know, it, it's a couple of guys that I'm not going to mention their names. That shit got boring. You know, I had like a lot more subscribers than you, and you got a whole bunch more than me, and you get like a lot of views. I was like, oh, no, man. You talk, you got the explanation points, and you got the question marks in NX. So that's why you got a lot more <laughs> than me, because people, was, they're thirsty for these rumors, man. <laughs> I, I can't do it, man. I, I did maybe a well, couple of It, it just shows like, how excited people were to hear about this damn thing. Like, Nintendo's Twitter's on fire right now. It is on fire, but I, I can't personally. I would lie to myself if I'm gonna jump in front of a camera with a fake ass smile and yelling, got pom poms, you know, in my hands and acting like acting like Nintendo is the best thing since sliced bread. I'm not gonna do that bullshit like, because this is crazy. If you go, if you go to Nintendo's Twitter right now, they only posted this two hours ago, but it's already got twenty four thousand likes. And how many ret- uh, retweets? Retweets twenty thousand. Of course. Man. That's insane. Well, I mean, <laughs> Within two uh, hours. That's how many people have been waiting for this freaking NX. Yeah. Wouldn't it be fun they got a picture of Metro Prime Federation Force with the NX? <laughs> 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 that should be funny as hell, man. Oh, people, man. They, they probably wouldn't care. They just want, they just want some NX. <laughs> they probably mm-hmm. don't give a <laughs> Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, is that, is that everybody on, on, that, on that little topic right there? Yep. Mm-hmm. I guess so. All, all right. Uh, I, I guess the next thing uh, we need to talk about is um let me see let me see do y'all think nintendo should try to do vr like no, Microsoft no. is doing well let me I, put it this way like 
I don't want them to do it because there's a lot that needs to be done with VR and there's a lot that I think Nintendo needs to fix. But considering they have the best motion controls, which isn't saying much at this current time because motion controls suck, but considering they have the best motion controls, I think VR made would make more sense for them than the other, the other console. Yeah, they already said they're not doing it until the technology becomes cheaper, so we don't really yeah. have to worry about that for the NX. Yeah, remember Nintendo was the first game to come to trying to do VR, and look how that turned out. <laughs> yeah, the virtual boy. Yeah, it fell miserably. Shit. Mad eyes yeah, and stuff I, like that. I, I really hope they don't focus on anything like that and just like. No, I don't. I don't think that they they trying, they want they want Microsoft and Sony to test the market first. Yeah, exactly. and like Sony's doing pretty well right now. Uh, you know what I've been hearing, they're doing pretty well. Uh, but the deal is, would it last? Would you know? Would it be the? Would it be just a fad, or would it be an ongoing? Uh, well, deal? even like Review Tech, he bought one, and he said it feels like a fad. It feels like something he'll try once or twice and won't use it again. That's a expensive fad, man. Four hundred dollars, shit. Yeah. He, he, he was, was a fad. Saying, like, like, he's probably months. he's probably gonna return it because he's just like he doesn't see himself using it. Yeah, that's why I, ain't, I didn't even. You know the whole VR talk. That's why I really hadn't talked about it on the on this channel because I just don't give a fuck, man. Just rather really have a fucking controller, in my yeah, damn no, hand. Same here, like VR. Like I've even tried it. Like I've used the Vive at the the Microsoft Store had one set up, and yeah, it's cool. But like the the headset is like nine hundred dollars US in Canada. It's eleven fifty, and then you need like a pretty good computer to run it. That's a lot of money to invest in some like shitty ass little games. Yeah. Yeah. Nia, you here? Nia yeah. is there. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome. I thought, I oh, thought, your, I thought your dog was sick. <laughs> no, I was editing a video for my site. Like, I was literally in the middle of, like, recording an episode of this new show I'm doing for my website. And, like, as we were recording, we got the news, like, that the Nintendo NX is officially mm-hmm. going to be revealed tomorrow. So, like, I was, like, legit busy. And it really, like, legit caught me off guard. It caught everyone so off guard. It was out of nowhere. I, no. See, we even uh, said, uh, and it's considering this is an emergency podcast, you must do the uh, the, the the scream of emergency podcast when yeah, you join yeah. in here. I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. know what that means. You have no, to scream you, it out. You know, <laughs> Need you know what we're talking about? You got to do the thing. You got to do it. What is do it? it? Just what scream out emergency thing? podcast. Scream it. Emergency podcast. Oh, you got to do it. Four out of ten. I'm sorry. <laughs> It gotta come from the the diaphragm. (laughs) I live around people. I can't do that, guys. Uh, They know what's up. Oh my god! (laughs) Get her thoughts on this. Give give us your your thoughts about this whole situation. About the NX officially being. Yeah, like we were just talking about what games uh, you think they're gonna announce for. you know, I guess one of the subjects well, was like. Might as well start off with like, what are your feelings about them finally talking about it? Yeah, we also feel. I think that it's awesome. I mean, it's better late than never. Um, as far as what I think is going to happen um, for the preview tomorrow, don't expect any spec talk. There's not going to be any spec talk, and um, I don't really think that we should be um, expecting anything except for like maybe a general idea of kind of what it does like, you know, any functionality that it has and any features that it has. But as far as, like, um, spec-specific stuff and, like, probably not even, like, games, I really wouldn't expect. Because it's only Mm. supposed to be three minutes, supposedly. Yeah, it's three minutes, supposedly. So I'm thinking that it's probably going to be along the same lines of kind of like... like an um, overall concept. Right, kind of like a concept, kind of kind of on the same um, order of what like Microsoft did with Scorpio without the specs, though. Right. That's what I think that we're going to see tomorrow, but that's just me. But I think okay. that if they you do talk about games... Within three minutes, you don't think within three minutes Reggie's going to go on a donut hunt <laughs> and Bill's going to get fired <laughs> and they're going to show us a bunch of specs in like 30 games? That's not going to happen. Most of the three, three minutes is probably going to be like <laughs> cheesy, like skit stuff. You know oh, what God, I mean? Please no. Like please that's no. what I think. Gonna, I, don't, I don't care. I love that stuff. I love. If it's only three minutes, I don't want to see any. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think that if they do show like games, like it's gonna be more like launch, 
like immediate launch games, like maybe that's, that's what I'm thinking. That's maybe like I'm Zelda thinking. or like maybe some stuff we didn't know, like stuff that's probably gonna be coming within like the first like month or two or something like that. Mm-hmm. I don't that's care. I just want to see the damn thing in the games. That's what I want. That's to be honest, want. all they have to do is show a metro lo- a metro logo, and like I'm, that's it. That's, like, that's what I, that's I, gonna I, deflate I, my hype if I, I just, see that. What? I was, I was, <laughs> Alex is too. Like he, you are two plane trips away from catching these hands, bro. Uh-oh. We will, we'll go from we'll a ten to... hype down to a four hype if I see that. Now you know when a black woman hits you with them claps in between like her statement, like you know. <laughs> uh, oh like, yeah. Oh. All I know is that I'm not really too excited. Um, I I can be excited. They have the potential to excite me. But yeah. I'm not going into this excited because I mean. Okay, okay, then uh, let me get. Let me ask you this: What what Nintendo needs to do in order for them to avoid the Wii U situation? All they have to do is bring games. Like really, that's really the biggest flaw. But like, th- despite the 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 fact that the hardware was underwhelming, like the biggest disappointment of anything was the fact that the the lineup of games was just very scarce. If they can come out with some games that people want and don't get me wrong like there's a lot of really good games on the wii u a lot of my favorite games are on the wii u but they're just too far and few in between and none of them feel um too different from their like predecessors if that's if that's to be frank like like some of the best games on the wii u you could say like mario kart 8 and like you know super smash brothers but they're not too different from like mario kart wii or like Super Smash Brothers Brawl, and it's like, while wow, they're good games, they're, they didn't really break the mold. Mm-hmm. Um, they didn't really break the mold the same way that, say, I know this is like the biggest example, like Super Mario Galaxy did, whenever that joint popped. You know what I'm saying? Like, they really need to bring not only games that make people feel that their console was worth the money, but they need to also bring games that excite people and that are more than just the rinky dink sequel. Like they have to bring we need more stuff like Breath of the Wild that completely yeah. change up what we're used to. They gotta yep. bring it. They gotta bring the heat. Yep, so I mean I think that the potential is there for them for them to excite. Like, like, uh, to, but, like I know this would piss off a lot of people, but I personally think it would be necessary to guarantee the success of the NX, and that would be cancel the Wii U version of Zelda. Mm, <laughs> it's too late. I mean, they. I they know it's too late now, it. but like, it, it honestly should have just been an NX game. Yeah, I agree. But I mean, it's too late now. It is. It's what too it late is. now. Like, it has to come out on the Wii U at this point. But like, it it should have been an NX game because oh that would have been their God. killer. It would have been the killer rap. Oh, the okay, Wii U. have y'all seen the shares charts? Like the what? The share charts for Nintendo are like surging like crazy right now. Oh, their their shares are jumping up. Like so that that, inc- right that incline is steep as hell right now. Damn, that's of crazy. course it does because well, yeah, because they finally talked awesome. about what everyone wants them to talk about. Are satisfied. <laughs> They're satisfied. But like, up, like usually, like when Nintendo so, does a thing, their shares go up. Like this this incline is what I'm talking about. Well, hell yeah. That's that the only thing short. people wanted to hear from them. Nobody yeah. wanted to hear about Yokai Watch or whatever dumb shit they were talking about. It's funny because it's on their <laughs> social media. Anytime they would make any kind of update, people would be like, okay, that's cool, but like, what about that NX, though? The virtual console, yay. Where's the NX? <laughs> <laughs> All right, since we got us a new, a new person in here, what's going on, Bird Hugger? Go on, go on do your intro right quick, man. And don't All forget right, to stay hey, on hey, emergency hey, podcast. Hey, hey, you have to do the thing. I'm not, I'm not saying that shit. You, you have to. You have we'll to kick you out of here, otherwise. You got to do it. And, uh, it's mandatory. Really you just you have to scream it. out emergency podcast. I'm on. Well, fuck you. I'm not doing that. Look, no, even no, Nia no, did no. it. You have to do it. Yeah. yeah. I ain't doing that shit. Do it. Oh, really? 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 I'll suck. just pass gas. There you go. That's my emergency <laughs> announcement right there. That sucks. Goddamn Sony Pony. Won't even say it. Yo, fuck you. No, you guys anyway, know me all too well. I'm your boy, Barry29. Anyway. Glad to be here. And fuck you for cutting, out, cutting me off in my intro, you prick. Glad well, to be here. Hey, we wanted you, to, we wanted you to do the thing. Do the thing. I just did. Oh, man, fuck you. Anyway, <laughs> Barry, uh, what's, your, what's your thoughts about this? What's your feelings about this this announcement? Well, it's about damn time, right? That's the yeah. that we all, all of us have been saying now for the longest time, month after month. I mean, yeah. shit, Alex was going fucking butt crazy there over the last couple of months there, bitching and moaning. 
Everyone was. <laughs> it's taking too long. You weren't the only one. Nothing less is nice. Video bitching today. <laughs> yeah, I put up as soon as I heard the news. I was like, "Fuck you guys! I'm getting there first. <laughs> <laughs> so I definitely won't be going to bed anytime soon. Mm. Well, yeah, well, staying up to watch it. Uh, yeah, yeah, dude, it's ten o'clock in the morning. Fuck that, man. My sleep pattern's all screwed up, anyways. Shit. Oh, just for the record, there's a drinking game going morning. on in your chat. By uh, thanks to me, but anyways, uh -huh. um, I, I read on Twitter though, uh, somebody was saying that uh, expect the name, what the system's going to look like, and how Breath of the Wild is going to be looking on the actual NX tomorrow during that preview. And then I saw mm, a retweet from not the developer Zelda. from one of the guys that make Pokemon. They yeah. retweeted it. Um, and then I think uh, something like that. But but also another thing that was also apparently confirmed was that there's three developers that are waiting for that video to drop in the morning so they can actually reveal announce their uh, games. Yeah, announce their games. Yeah, which kind of I mean a lot of people are speculating saying like Red Dead Two is going to be announced for the NX after because it's yeah. both trailers <laughs> all yeah. about an hour apart. Yeah, after Nintendo's about to clown them and ruin the reveal. Or like <laughs> so. yeah. Right. Right. Um, I mean, that would be that would be kind of shocking, though, if they end up like the trailer for uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 gets dropped and then at the end of it, it shows like the NX or whatever the hell the console is going to be called. GG. So, I wish they would actually stick with that name. I kind of like the NX name. It's different. But that's Sketchy. just me. Okay. Okay. What's your opinion, Burr, about uh, what um, they need to do Oh, did I ask you that question uh, about uh, what they need to do in order to avoid the Wii U situation? Did I ask you that? No, no, you have not, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah. What, what's, what's your opinion about that? Third-party exclusives. That's the answer right there. Like beyond that good. Multi-plats are not going to do shit for them. They need third-party yeah. exclusive content. That's what they need. They need kind of like, kind of like how they deal with the Nintendo 64. A lot of yeah, 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 exactly like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In order to at least give people legit reason that don't want to buy an, an actual <clears throat> Nintendo console as their main console. I mean, let's be honest. Most people buy their shit for well, fucking at, secondary at this purposes. Point, like most people so, already have their Xbox and PlayStation. They're gonna exactly. get that well, well, there anyways. You know, actually, yeah. come up with an achievement system. What will well, well, point change system? A point system, whatever. Don't oh, they already kind of have something like that anyway? Like, is it that new thing that they have kind of like their achievement system? It, it, yeah, it is right now, but I think it's going to be a coin system be, thing. Yeah, 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 I think that's going to be actually embedded into the actual, like, yeah, the hopefully Xbox that's games built shit. into the OS directly. But uh, what I mean, though, by like as far as third party exclusives, I mean, like, Nintendo needs to go out to these companies and like, like ask them, like, okay, what games do you have sitting on the back burner? And see some different concepts. I mean, a lot of these pub developers out there, they'll they'll come up with these concepts. They'll start, to, you know, designing the game or developing the game. The publisher's like, no, that's not going to sell. Just keep it on the back burner for a rainy day. Nintendo should take advantage of that. Go to these companies. Well, yeah, that's that's what it seems like they're doing with Beyond Good and yeah. Evil too. <laughs> yeah, I think that's going to be an exclusive. And if it is, oh shit, the internet's going to be in an outrage. Oh my <laughs> Christ, I'm looking forward to that. Well, uh, it's probably the same situation like Bayonetta. Like nobody yeah, else exactly. wanted to do it. Yep. Yeah, because I find it a little bit odd that you know, like Ubisoft was praising the NX a couple yeah. weeks back. That would make a lot of sense to why Ubisoft yeah. has been so like happy about the NX. Probably because Nintendo's backing them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Ubisoft really don't need that. Yeah. Ubisoft's the number one cheerleader. <laughs> but like that, Ubisoft really doesn't need their money though. Like Ubisoft got their own money. Why that's true, but money? like why waste your own money when you can waste somebody else's? <laughs> that's true yeah. <laughs> yeah. plus i mean look how long it's been from people have been asking for you know like a sequel or anything related to beyond good and evil and ubisoft's like yeah it's coming it's coming it's coming yeah. well like, chances are like, ubisoft is probably just worried that a game like that wouldn't sell in today's market so they want nintendo to take some of that risk right? <laughs> you know what that's yeah. also probably it <laughs> I mean, look at fucking Record, man. Record bombed on the Xbox, so yeah, I'm not, I'm well, not surprised. That's, that's Microsoft's fault. For, they didn't even fucking advertise the damn thing. Well, it's so also the mouth breather's fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah y'all got a lot <laughs> of good games on Xbox that point. people do not be buying. A lot like, of people that play. Again, Sunset Overdrive should not yeah, have yeah, that's that's the, the Sunset that's Overdrive. Not, yeah. Yeah. Embarrassed on an Xbox. We, we, like, we did our point. We bought it. We bought it. We bought uh, Rise of Tomb Raider, in which I, I yeah, like you guys, they are. I guess they're pleased with the sales, but you know I'm not pleased with that. They should have. They should sell better than that, man. That game, yeah, that it's like Rise of Tomb Raider is amazing. That's a great game. It was so good. I had to double dip. I bought on on a PlayStation Four. I double dip. That's yeah. a good game. Which I was game? Thinking, I was thinking you're getting it on PC. Rise of the Tomb Raider. Oh uh, yeah. I, I, I'm just gonna game. throw this out there just for the hell of it. I think another thing that would really be smart 
for Nintendo is to go to Activision and put some money down and get like Treyarch to make an exclusive Call of Duty series mm-hmm. for the actual whatever the hell this console is going to be, the NX. So that way, not only would that actually benefit the COD fan base because they would go fucking bonker bullshit having two Call of Duty games dropping a year, so they would have a reason to buy the NX or whatever the fuck it's going to be called. But on top of that, too, as well, it'd be a good investment for the long run, too. Because, I mean, you can be able to play Call of Duty on the go and shit and whatnot, dude. Yeah, I think it'll be a phenomenal move if they would actually do something like that. Well, they know right. they likely not. But well, like, I would hope well, Nintendo works something out with EA because they, they need to get sports games because Nintendo doesn't yeah. make enough sports games. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. can't rely on my Mario Tennis. Yeah, because like, the, they uh, couldn't even get that account. right. So, like, they got to get either them or 2K, one of them, making games for like some oh, FIFA. If, if, they, games. If, they want, if they want people in Europe to, to buy uh, Index, they need FIFA. Well, not it doesn't even have to be specifically FIFA or P. What's the other one? PES. But like they can make Mario Strikers again. FIFA is the most popular sports game in the world. You know how much they sold in the UK the first week. Yeah, I know it's the most popular game in the world, but it's the most popular game on Sony. It's not gonna sell on on Nintendo. Yep. European um, is like Sony territory. Yeah, yeah I, I, I understand what they're saying. Like, Nintendo, Nintendo fans usually like more cartoony games, and they don't more really go for sports games. games. So they have that game. animated feel. Yeah. Like, I, I think arcade sports games are way more fun than these realistic ones. Yeah, yeah, man. Like, yes. what happened to all like those quirky arcade fucking like NFL sports games Blitz? That shit was yeah. awesome. NBA, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or NBA hey, Jam. That shit's way better than what you get now. Talking about yeah, like you know NHL Blitz and all those fun. Yeah. Games. yeah, there's still some arcades that have NBA Jam, and people be on it like. <laughs> oh, for real? <laughs> yeah, because that game awesome. is fire. Like, <laughs> you played as Will Smith and Bill Clinton. Why not? Jesus, <laughs> shit's amazing. Yeah, hopefully they. <laughs> Get more third party exclusives this time around because I think that's the key for them. Like multiplayer, it, it just doesn't work. Like they either get the worst version, or even when they do get a good version, people don't buy it on that, Nintendo. That was the fault of Nintendo and third parties. That, that was the fault. It was just a whole bunch of miscommunication with that with that shit, and, and mm-hmm. it did not even it didn't help. Yeah, when fans didn't support the damn game, that didn't help. So why should third parties give a fuck if Nintendo didn't give a fuck? Nintendo didn't give a fuck. The fans didn't give a fuck. So why third parties should give a fuck? That's, That's why so true. <laughs> Like Zombie U and Raymond Legends no longer are exclusives. You know, that's why the Ubisoft, Ubisoft pulled back uh, their little secret game they, they had. You know, it was some, I, I forgot, it was, a, it was another game that somebody had rated for Nintendo. They canceled it because they, they don't trust yeah, it. Was the party game. It was a party game. Ubisoft yeah, it was a party, was a party game. 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 Oh, oh, yes. oh, yeah. That's yeah, all it was that nobody was going to buy anyways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, they were, they were afraid. Was, oh, no, they're not going to buy our games. Oh, why, why, why should we put it out? It's like, you better cancel yeah, it now. You know, yeah. like, you know, it's blatantly obvious when they sat there and they released, was it Watch Crap fucking like two weeks or a week before Smash Brothers dropped? Like, that was retarded. Yeah. Stop this fucker. I hate French people, man. I'm just <laughs> out there. And it's like that. But that's <laughs> kind of hateful. I'm fucking kidding, yo. <laughs> I didn't say that. Uh, Bear Hugger said it. I'm just saying you hate me the bat. Bear Hugger. How many people in the chat right now are drunk, man, for me swearing so goddamn much? Man, I'm so happy. I can't wait for tomorrow. Yeah, man. I'm, uh, yeah, I was really, really glad because I saw like a bunch of stuff blow up today about like, oh, yeah, we're going to see something be revealed for the NX like in the next 24 hours, blah, 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 blah. I was like, yeah. How many times have we seen I know. This like, exactly. Times? Somebody told me that. I was like, yeah, okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. We've been and hearing also, that for like the last six months. And then, yeah, then I was browsing through uh, some Neil Gath thread, whatever you want to call it, like was constantly getting updates. So I was just laughing my ass up with all these people getting all hyped up, right? And I was like, well, you, hey, if you want to get hyped, get hyped. And then somebody tweets like, oh my God, Japanese or the Japanese Twitter account is, is active. And I'm like, okay. So I click on the actual Japanese Twitter page and it's just posting Amiibo shit. So I was like, yeah, that's a real big fucking reveal there. <laughs> no, and then like not even five minutes after that, man, boom, they, they dropped that big bomb, man, about the preview for the NX. And I was like, fuck me. Holy shit. It's actually going down. I couldn't believe it. Well, yeah, fucking shit oh. bricks, man, when I saw that shit. That's what Real happens bad. when so many people cry wolf. It's like you can't even believe actual news. Exactly. <laughs> it's it's kind of funny that I did my rant video telling me I'm fucking sick and tired of these hype channels and shit. And then all of a sudden, yeah, they dropped it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Me, yo, yeah. Hey, Real yeah. Gamer, it's finally happened. It's true. Real no, Gamer, check, check Twitter. <laughs> oh, what the fuck's going on? Mom, we're trying, I'm trying to watch my TV show. I'm like, everybody's blowing me up. I was like, oh, <laughs> this was going on. Yo, it was funny because, like, I, I would always wake up, like, literally almost like at least once. 
Once a week, I would go on Twitter and I would see Alex. Well, today is now the freaking second week of October and no NX news. And like, you would do that every fucking, like almost every day almost, dude. It was like, Jesus <laughs> Christ, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Me and Nick, we're doing it every day. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The both of you motherfuckers are doing it every day. And now, now you guys can't say shit anymore, man. It's finally going to be revealed. Yeah, our countdown countdown is <laughs> That's more. I'm doing two reaction videos now. Fuck my life, man. Oh man, I'm definitely gonna be live streaming that shit tomorrow. I'm so excited. I, I want to do it. Oh, myself, I'm, I'm, gonna do it talk, I'm gonna be at work tomorrow. Oh, oh really? Mine's so damn early, early in the morning. I'll be able to yeah. do it, then go to work. So I'm happy. I, I was thinking about live streaming myself. I'm gonna do that though. I'm gonna have to do it on the PS4 though through my Aver Media device. But yeah. oh really? No. Yeah. Do it you can't. Just, oh yeah, right, right. Because you can't show what's happening otherwise. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna have to make sure it's up tonight. Three minutes. Oh my god, it's gonna be three minutes of glory. Man, I was yeah. hoping it was gonna be more than three minutes, man. I was hoping at least it's gonna be three minutes. Minutes. Well, again, it's just a preview. I mean, it's better than you. You know, you know they're <laughs> gonna reveal they're gonna reveal the actual direct date probably like right after that video. Probably, yeah. Right at the end of that video. So more if anything, it might be fucking Friday. It'd be so be funny if they make the direct date the PS4 Pro launch day. That is that oh, that's shit. Oh, that is that's, no, that's November 10th? Nah, dude. No, <laughs> no. So no, if savage anything is gonna be Nintendo. Friday within a week or two. It has to yeah, be. Yeah, it's it's gonna be Friday or Monday. <laughs> Friday or Monday. One of those I hope two it's days. a Friday. I don't want to watch something on a Monday. Oh, yeah. It would be nice if it is a Friday. I mean, this is, you know, kind of giving people like a, a little bit of a glimpse, man. I mean, that could be just to keep the excitement going for the following day. I don't freaking know. I don't actually, it doesn't even matter what day. I'll just watch it anyways. Like, I just don't care. I just want to. At least now, at least now we'll know what the fucking thing is going to be called, what it's going to look like. But yeah, that's going to be the funny thing because you know, so many hateful videos are coming up first. And I also expect like an hour long, like analysis video from Game Explain. <laughs> yeah, out of a three minute freaking video. Yeah, it makes yeah, sense. If you zoom in on this section right here, oh, you can actually see there's a uh, there's Mario smiling <laughs> yeah. in the background. There, there's that voice. There's that voice. That voice. Oh my god. Yeah, he got an annoying voice. That's all. That's why I don't really watch their their content no more. Yeah, I try it. It's, 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 it's funny, man. I, I just want to punch him. That, I don't know. He's there was there is there was a lot of hints that were actually leading. Uh, fucking to reveal like relatively soon. So it was I think it was just like no more than a week and a half ago. I saw uh, like news articles popping up, and people saying that like, how they met, or somebody spotted Miyamoto at Universal with a film crew. Oh, really? Yeah. So clearly, he's doing something for a fucking director, some shit. Hmm. So I mean, why else would he be walking around with a film crew? He's not doing a documentary. Hopefully, he <laughs> like maybe he does. does movies and like yeah, um, a documentary on how bad the I would, I would like was. Miyamoto to just do movies now. And just yeah. stick to he movies. is. He is. That'd be great. I think he'd be really good at that. Yeah, but the biggest oh, question is, no, no, no. keep him away from That's gaming. That'd be cool. <laughs> Expect the next Star Fox game be presented by Miyamoto himself. No, please not. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's <laughs> it for getting the other one. I think this film is generally hurt after that last if one. If Miyamoto is the reason why we'll never get into Star Fox again, then he definitely needs to be, like... Retired. No, no, yeah. no, no. I'm pretty yeah. sure. I'm pretty sure there's going to we'll be another Star Fox. One. I think we'll get another one. I think the message There will be there. one, yeah. Yeah, because the thing was, like, the message wasn't about the game. It was, it was, like, the way the controls were. That was yeah. the big problem with the newest Metroid. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. So is there it's a podcast. <laughs> but I do have a question for you guys, though. When, yeah. the, when they do come, when it does come to like making like Nintendo centric movies or whatever you want to call it, live action or CG? CG, CG. definitely. CG. I don't want live action because that's gonna suck. Yeah, that's gonna look weird. I don't think Anybody who's right. seen like the Pikmin shorts and like that Star those were amazing. Day, like, those were fucking incredible. Animated and CG because those and, are great. Yeah, like Pixar, it'd be cool. Still yeah, exactly. Or, yeah, because they can. They're they're trying to partner up with Universal anyway, so it just can. Just, it would make sense. It yeah. would make sense, though. Yep. All right, so uh, I guess um, I'm not gonna make this too long. Um, I guess yeah, we could answer a few questions in the chat. If y'all got a few questions, um, ask away. We we'll answer so we get out of here. Um, because I'm doing my podcast tomorrow. I don't want to do a long podcast today and turn around and do a long podcast tomorrow because that's when we're gonna actually get some NX information. Right. So we'll have, yeah, y'all got, y'all got we questions. We will have a man. lot of stuff to yeah. talk about tomorrow. Yeah, we have a lot of shit to talk about tomorrow because y'all know when we talk, we, you know, uh, whenever I do the real talk with the real game, we talk more than just Nintendo. Because so. we got fuck boys, dude. <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 motherfucker. But like I say, <laughs> y'all just uh, ask ask away. So we got to get, get out of here. What, what questions y'all got in the chat? What do you expect in the reveal trailer? 
Oh shit. Name system in a trailer. I would res- uh, I want some more voice acting than uh, Z- the new Zelda game. I want I want to know it. I want to know more about it. I honestly expect them just to give us a general concept of what the NX is. Uh, maybe a silhouette of what it looks like. <laughs> not even what it looks like. Not even like way. not even the actual design because I honestly don't think we'll see that till the direct. Uh, and maybe we'll see some more about Zelda. I would like to see more than Zelda, but in that time frame, I don't think they're going to show too many games. I, I, I think we maybe see maybe Zelda in that Mario lunch game. That would uh, be that's crazy. what I'm thinking. Like if maybe, we could see Zelda so. and Mario, that'd be awesome. I think that I think that's what's going to happen tomorrow. What, what do y'all guys think? I mean, I pretty much already said what I think they're going to show. Like, it's pretty much um, just probably show us like what it what it does. Not really specs per se, but it's kind of like features, and um, that probably be it. And maybe like one or two games, including Zelda. Okay. Uh, we got a question from Mr. One Hundred. What's up, Hunter? What What y'all drinking tonight? What y'all water. drinking? Water. Yeah, I got class drink. in the morning. Water. Yeah, I got to work tomorrow, so I can't get drunk. So you know, <laughs> can't go. I already got. Yeah, I got it in on Monday though. When I uh, went here's to a here's a extremely serious question. Hey, is I already, Gamer I already Nick got a few drinks in. So with, uh, is is Gamer yeah. Nick having drenched panties with the reveal of the NX tomorrow? <laughs> oh my God! Are we Perhaps still he'll be <laughs> pitching a tent in his pants as oh, well. After all, oh, remember he's one that came out with then saying it doesn't exist. That's true. I'm sure Nick is in in a constant state of like just, he's in state, like static shock right now. He just can't even believe what he's seeing. He fell into a coma, man. He fell into a coma. That's what happened. He saw that news today. That's why he's not in the podcast. Actually, he's he's trying yeah. to fight out of a coma right now. Uh, so <laughs> hopefully he'll be out of it by tomorrow. And he can give him a sense of bean. And you you all can go in on him in the chat here. You guys can go in on him for constantly telling you that the NX isn't real. Or yeah, yeah. bring his yeah. alter ego along. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, hopefully crappy Nick shows up. Yeah. Uh, all right. Any more questions out there? Uh, What's your what thoughts about, about Nintendo about? skipping October's investing uh, investors meeting? Who cares? We're getting in an X trailer. Yeah, I don't um, care. Yeah. Uh, so Santa starts today. Is your birthday? Yep. Happy birthday! Oh shit! Happy birthday! Turn up. He's forty, so he's old. Oh, I mean, that's right. Yeah, but I ain't too big your ass, young boy. <laughs> hey, you gotta let him know. Real thing, <laughs> not a hand, bro. You got to put that dude in his place for real. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Come on, that's you know, questions. I be roasting them all the time. Uh, do you think there will be a delay for the NX? No, I think they're on schedule. Oh, my God. If there's a delay, it could be some pitchforks and some freaking. Uh, some freaking. Oh, can can you imagine <laughs> at the end of the three minute trailer it says delayed to holiday 2017? For, for me, that? for me personally, <laughs> if I if I like tomorrow's trailer, and they delay it to make a quality product, I'll be okay. But if tomorrow's tra- trailer is trash and they delay it, then I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> I think they're on. I think they're they're on schedule. I wouldn't really worry about it. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. You know, honestly, I, it's. I think the internet should have been out a long time ago. So they, they should. Everything should be. Up should be to ready because they. I think the the device was on schedule. It's just they were waiting for games. So, other than that, yep. I think we, should, we should be okay. So, wouldn't I don't I wouldn't worry about it. The NX reveal overshadowed by the final presidential debate. Ain't that tonight? It's already it's, it's, it's already, already happened. Yeah, it's just about that's, that's tonight. Yeah, that's tonight. Yeah, it's I, already, I don't, yeah, it already happened. When it comes to politics and gamers, the gaming community, a lot of us don't give a fuck about politics, to be honest. We just want to play games. Yeah, you have a devil and an ice queen. Like, who cares? I'm a marketing (laughs) student, so I have to pay attention. It's my obligation. (sighs) uh, Why do you think it took them so long to reveal the system? I think they were just waiting on games. Yeah, just waiting for games. Kimishima plainly said that. They want to make sure that they got the games ready and they want Microsoft and Sony copying them. That's another reason why they – well, that's what I'm thinking. That's what they say it. Yeah, but Sony and Microsoft don't have time to change their console. Well, Microsoft they also does, had a lot of to. contractual agreements that they had to deal with too because from my understanding, they're supposed to have a new company helping them with working on the servers this go round too, right? Yeah, that's a DNA. So I could assume they had a lot of ideas that they wanted new people and fresh blood on, which I don't have a problem with. I'm cool with that. 
Mm-hmm. I'm I really hoping we get the, uh, the, uh, the online think, right this time. Think he's, uh, Me too. NX. The NX sounds very NX pissed. is a cool name, but I, I think it's just a placeholder name, though. Probably so. I know rumor says it's going to be like Duo, Nintendo Duo. Oh, uh, that sounds so stupid. Oh, a rumor. Sounds like a Mega Man sidekick. I hope not. I don't know. I don't know. A couple more questions, guys. We'll end it. A couple more questions. Hopefully something ridiculous like the Nintendo Gaming Extreme. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just hope it's not something stupid like Nintendo U. Ugh. Please, uh, Lord, Lord, Nintendo, Lord. Lord. I want to believe Lord. that they're done with that era. Yeah, yeah no, I don't think they're gonna have name just needs to be they're, they're, gonna name it, they're gonna name it Nintendus. Nintendus. Nintendo. Oh, hell <laughs> no, please. Uh, that, that's okay, that's <laughs> very, very excited <laughs> right now. No, we're all excited, man. Like, man, we've been writing about Nintendo the oldest past year, not because we hate them, even though this, like, most majority of the Nintendo community think we just some Nintendo haters. No, <laughs> we. We know how Nintendo is, man. Like we grew up with Nintendo. We know the, the type of quality that they've been shoving out to us for over twenty years, man. Yeah. And the Nintendo that we know right now is not the Nintendo that we knew back then. That's yeah, because like if yeah, you were good for thirty five years, if you owned a Wii U and you didn't notice the drop in quality in their games, you you haven't been playing Nintendo very long. Yeah, because a lot, a lot of these, these 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 Nintendo fans are kids, man. They they was brought up in the Wii era, so they didn't know the greatness of the NES, the Super NES, the Nintendo sixty four. Even the GameCube had some great Game. games. Yes. In the GameCube. GameCube was slept on. Yeah, it, the GameCube was a good system. It just it got overshadowed by PlayStation and Xbox. That's yeah. what it was. It got overshadowed. And then the other and then the other thing is like we got to admit that this generation wants everything to be easy. Like when we played games back in the golden era of gaming, there was a lot wrong with games. Games were glitchy, games were broken, and we fought to figure things out. Like they get tutorials and stuff now. For the most part, a lot of games are fixed, and they make them super simple, and that's really what they want. Because, like, my cousins play game, like, my younger cousins, but they prefer to play cell phone games rather than on a console because it's simplistic and it's easy for them to pick up. They don't want to take the time to learn. Because even when they play games with me and I try to teach them how to play, the minute I start teaching them how to play, they get bored and be like, yeah, I'm just going to go back to the phone. <laughs> Oh, geez. I was like, yeah, I'm good, cuz. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's just like with the sports and stuff, how to get participation trophies. They don't want to learn to figure things out. They want simple. Yeah. Well, I, I, I guess uh, closing this podcast, like, in order for me to game mostly on my Nintendo console so I could put down my Xbox controller, if, that, if they can get a lot more third-party support, third-party exclusives, more Nintendo games... Uh, better online um, functionality, a fucking um, uh, some kind of achievement system. Like a lot of the shit that you see on Xbox and Mark, you know, Xbox and, and PlayStation. But they don't have to be identical, but just try to keep up with times, man. Like I will fucking game mostly on my Nintendo system again, man. I just, I don't know, man. I, I, I just. My bar for Nintendo is so low. The only thing that I ask for is like an adequate like system adequate and like number. good games. Like that's all. That's all. That's it. That's yeah, it. that's that's the main thing. Games. Because that's, that's like I already problem. have like my PC for like multiplayer. Like I don't really care if they get multiplayer. Just give me some good Nintendo exclusives, bro, and like we good. Exactly. Okay. That's it. okay. Okay. So I guess that's about it. Anybody, anybody yeah. else got something to add? Anybody else? Nope. Uh, yeah, just catch us tomorrow. Uh, I'll be doing a live reaction to the three-minute thing, and then in the evening we'll be on Real Talk with a Real Gamer. We will go in depth on what we will see tomorrow. All right, all right. Oh, I can't wait for the fucking hate, man. Anybody else got something to say? You got something to say, Bear? Nope. All I'm Fuck. saying is look forward to a lot of fucking hate, man. Fuck you too, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I, I'm telling you, man, there's going to be a lot of people hating on this fucking thing when they see it and they see the name yeah. for it, man. So I'm expecting Whatever. a lot of fucking hit, I hate for it, man. I, I can't wait, though. I'm stoked, man. Well, we all um, can't wait because we're Nintendo fans. We started our YouTube channels on Nintendo content only. So true. that's why we started. It is true. The Wii U was, was good for a, a little bit, but that's when we started getting fun. games, we, I would just, we turned on Nintendo. We, <laughs> like, what the fuck? Nintendo, we want games. What the fuck? Yeah. Right. So, you know, 
I, yeah, I guess me and Alex, we used to be Nintendo fanboys. We turned to Xbox, and you turned to a pony bird. So. Yep, yep. I don't know why I got slapped in the <laughs> face with Sony does. crazy <laughs> when you bring that up, because now that I think about it, I actually was a Nintendo channel. I started out yeah. as a Pokemon channel a year ago. Most of us did. And you turned to a PC elitist, so that's, that's, that's that bad, man. No, I'm not in the same boat with y'all niggas. I always play everything. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I'm a Nintendo girl at heart, no doubt, but I wasn't no fangirl like y'all niggas were. Oh, I'm throwing shots. I'm letting y'all niggas know. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What? Just, what? Yeah, throwing the cheap shots at us, man. What? Right, see this. What? <laughs> Damn. Uh-huh. Shit. Slot that. Huh. I'll, remember, I'll remember that <laughs> next time you need saving in Paladins. <laughs> right. Yo, I'm still waiting for the console release for that shit to drop. Oh, the peasant version? Yeah. Awesome. Oh damn! Yeah, because <laughs> I, I I played that Overwatch for that free weekend, dude. I fucking hated that game. No, I, like, 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 not, I, I did not like it at all. Like, I thought it was like, fucking like, garbage, man. Like this is my personal. Oh, sorry for your dislikes going down there. Fucking real. My bad. I'm sorry. Oh, like this is my personal opinion. Like Overwatch is a decent game, but the problem with MOBAs is. You have to play MOBAs that aren't super popular. Because when you play MOBAs that's super popular, you get casual crowds that aren't willing to work in a team. And you can't play a team game when you're not willing to work in a team. Overwatch (laughs) is a solid game, but if you're not playing with a complete squad and you have to play with randoms, you're going to lose. You're going to lose. I think the community is pretty great. great. It's got a pretty good community right now. Mm Mm-hmm. That's just Who my is opinion. Once that shit comes that fucking yeah. epiphany out that window. Well, we don't have to play with the garbage people. That is. Very oh. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Y'all is. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and close it out. Um, <laughs> well, I gotta get out of here <laughs> tomorrow. Um, you know, I guess around seven thirty Central Time, my time Central. Uh, yeah. We gotta start the. Um, we're gonna talk with the real gamer, and we gotta. Um, Try to crunch everything two hours because we got a lot of shit to talk about. We got some Xbox and PlayStation shit to talk about. But then Red Dead like, is gonna be having their thing tomorrow. Nobody yeah. cares. Yeah. So it's a, it's a lot of shit. <laughs> so, Nobody cares. Yeah, I, I gotta cut. I gotta cut it out right now. I don't want to go too long. I, I gotta. I gotta get some sleep. So let's go and get our introductions out the way, man. Let's start with you, Alex. All right. What is up, introductions, people? Outros. Huh? Okay. What is up, people? Active sitting here. This was our. Emergency podcast. Emergency, Emergency podcast. Oh, come on. Yeah. The news that the oh, NX will be revealed oh. tomorrow. Get excited, people. It's a day we've been waiting for for over a year, and we will see it tomorrow, 7 a.m. Pacific time. I will be live streaming it, and then, of course, we'll be on Real Talk with a Real Gamer in the evening, and we're going to have a lot of fun. All right. Appreciate it, man. All right. Let's go with you, Burr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barrier 29, fucking excitement, excitement. Now I'm going to go back to being a pony. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> that was terrible, actually. No, thanks for having me, dude. Thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it, dude. Thanks for having me. Man. Okay, I appreciate you, bro. Fuck you, son. <laughs> <laughs> right, All right, let's go with you, Nia. What is it, everybody? You're gonna need to be a gamer. Sorry, I wasn't here from the beginning. I was like legit doing stuff, but um, this is awesome, I guess. Um, we should do this again sometime, <laughs> but um, do it again tomorrow. It depends on what I got going on. I didn't, okay, I'll see you there, okay? Like, I got like a whole boyfriend, okay? Like, I gotta tend to him because I've been kind of neglecting him, but um, <laughs> anyway, you're a friend. <laughs> I'm a great girlfriend. Chill out. But uh, yeah, so this is awesome. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. All right, all right. Appreciate you. All right, let's go with your retro bro. What's up, YouTube? Retro bro here. Had a lot of fun tonight. Also, random topic for those of you that do YouTube or any form of digital media like us, keep at it. Because even if YouTube isn't paying you, you're getting some experience, you're learning. And digital media, according to Ad Age, has been growing a ton, almost to about thirty million billion dollars. Correction. PSA, so, if you keep with it, eventually you'll be able to get a job with a big firm, and you won't have to really worry about doing this seriously. So, just keep that in mind, y'all. What the fuck? This PSA though? What is that? Oh. What is, that? is that nerd talk? <laughs> of course, that's part of gaming culture, man. Got to stay woke and help our brothers make some money. <laughs> that's, 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 that's a nerd talk. That's 
that nerd talk. Hustle, I'm talking about. Hustle, I'm talking about. Hustle, I'm talking about. Only you can keep <laughs> digital media alive. <laughs> All right, man. Appreciate you. you. <laughs> All right, last not least, go to your sense of Tar Heel. Yeah, what's happening, y'all? Sinister here. It's, you know, Georgia guys, and of course, you too, Nian. And appreciate the birthday love to you guys. And uh, waiting for the podcast tomorrow with Real Talk with the Real Gamer. Right. Well, I appreciate you. <laughs> oh, like I say, tomorrow's podcast starts at 7 30 Central Time. Don't be late. We got a lot of shit to talk about, especially with the reveal of this NX. So excited, so excited. And uh, to let y'all know, if y'all think I'm going to take down my latest video renting on Nintendo, I'm not. Because I really meant it. So uh, that video is going to stay up there. <laughs> so if you hadn't watched the video, watch it. So I guess after that, I guess it's going to get out of here, man. Like, like I say, uh, appreciate all y'all rocking with, with the Real Gamer and his crew. Just come Thanks. back tomorrow, and we're going to do it again. So like I say, uh, appreciate y'all, and peace out. All right. Peace.